हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ जीटा एक्सिस एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अरोरा अरोरा आर कलरफुल लाइट्स दैट वी सी इन आवर पोलर रीजन्स दे आर सीन इन बोथ नदर्न एंड सदर्न पोलर रीजन्स एंड दे आर कलरफुल लाइट्स सो टुडे वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द फिनोमिना दैट कॉजेज दिस काइंड ऑफ कलरफुल लाइट्स इन आवर एटमोस्फियर टू स्टार्ट विद वी नो दैट आवर अर्थ हैज अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड व्हिच इज डोनट शिफ्ट but due to the presence of sun and its magnetic field our earth's magnetic field gets modified we see that our earth's magnetic field is very small facing the sun while away from the sun it is very much elongated the sun is known to discharge lot of charged particles in the space these charged particles can include ions electrons protons or other things now when these charged particles reach our earth we are protected by the magnetic field we can see that because of the magnetic field the charged particles are not able to reach our earth but here the magnetic fields enter our earth through the magnetic poles and these charged particles are carried along this magnetic field and they enter our earth in a southern regions so we see that some of the charged particles are able to enter our atmosphere in the polar regions and therefore we see this northern lights in the polar regions only now this solar flare or this solar storm which passes it passes our magnetosphere and moves away but our magnetic field it is able to capture a lot of charged particles because of their charge in nature and we see that a plasma sheet is found at the backward side of our earth here there are a lot of charged particles which are collected from these kind of solar storms a lot of charged particles from this plasma sheet finds its way in a atmosphere of our earth by following the magnetic field which is entering the polar regions this plasma sheet is the main source of northern lights the solar flare or solar storms are not a periodic thing but northern lights occur constantly because of the plasma sheet which is there at the backward side of our earth now let's see what happens when these charged particles enter our atmosphere here you can see thermosphere and the atoms and molecules within the thermosphere the yellow particles moving you are seeing are the charged particles that have come from the solar storm now these charged particles may hit an atom now here you can see that a charged particle is about to hit an atom once this hits this atom we can see that the electrons will be excited and they will go in higher orbits which requires more energy now these higher orbits are unstable therefore this electron will try to come to the lower orbit and it will release energy this energy is released in a visible spectrum that is the light spectrum that we see and because a lot of charged particles enter our atmosphere and they hit lot of atoms so a large amount of this kind of visible light spectrum energy is released and therefore we see colors in our sky now different molecules or different atoms they release energy in different spectrum so some will release green and colored energy while the others will release some red or pink colored energy so it generally depends on the atom or molecules with which the charged particles are colliding what color will be seen in the sky most normally nitrogen and oxygen are the atoms which release the visual spectrum color and therefore we see green light in our skies thank you i hope this video helped you understand that what is aurora and how it occurs if you have liked our video then please like subscribe and share our video thank you thanks for watching